So we are nearly at the end of August and um, obviously then comes September and people go back to school and I am actually going to start at a college in September. I'm doing something called the Access to Higher Education Diploma which is sort of the equivalent of A-levels but for older people who might need to get different qualifications but didn't do it while they were at school. So I'm doing that because I'd like to go on to study occupational therapy um, at university. So what I thought was, um, because the thing I love most about going back to school, college, whatever, is the stationery shopping to begin with, um, stocking up on bags and pencil cases and things like that. Um, so I thought I would show you what I have uh, bought for when I go back to college. So. To start with, um, I thought obviously I need a bag to carry it all in and actually I've, <laughs> I've actually bought two bags because I bought this lovely little satchel which I thought was just so cute. Um, I actually got it from a local garden centre. I wasn't looking for a satchel, I just happened to see it when um, we went along to a garden centre just to have a little mooch around. Um, it seems to be made out of really soft leather. Um, it only cost me, I think about £30. Um, you've got a long strap so that you can hold it over your shoulder. Um, I love this like detail here where it's got the little like window. Um, and then you can open it up. It's got a zipped pocket here um, and then a smaller pocket at the front. However, I bought that and then I kind of thought because I'm going to be using my walking stick a lot at the moment I wasn't sure if having something on my shoulder would be a particularly great idea um, so I thought maybe a rucksack might be better so I went to my favourite shop, Accessorise um, and I picked up this little number um, how much was this? This is a rucksack. It's got leather straps um, and sort of leather detailing around here. Um, I've taken the price off it, so I can't actually remember how much it was, but it wasn't too bad. You've then got a, a zip pocket at the front, um, just for, and it's got some sort of smaller little pockets in there, so maybe they'd be great for like phone, lip gloss, and stuff like that. And then you've obviously got the bigger pocket here and it actually comes with another little pouch for putting like your iPad or something like that in which I really like because you know I can stick my iPad in there and it's nice and padded um, and I'm not going to be worrying and it's got the leather detailing around the bottom like the rucksack again so yes I thought I think I'll probably use this more for college and perhaps just to use the satchel either when I get a bit better with my walking um, or just use it for other things, sort of, you know, weekends and things like that. Um, but hey, you can never have too many bags, right? <laughs> so, um, yes, that's the bag I'm going to be using. Um, I'll take you through, like, maybe, I don't know, I was going to say more of the boring stuff, but I don't think any stationery is boring. I love all stationery. I seriously could live in, like, Paper Chase or Ryman's or, you know, something like that. I love it. Um, so like, I don't know, like necessary stuff, I've bought a pad of paper, um, I'm very good at writing lots of notes, probably when I don't need to, but I just, I love to write stuff down, um, so, you know, I will probably get through this pretty quickly, um, but yeah, always needed lots of paper. Uh, I've got some funky little colourful dividers, um, I've got some folders and stuff that I got given um, as presents when I left my job um, and I just I like having dividers in different colours because you can sort of colour code um, like different subjects depending on what colour it's under so perhaps like with the pink it could be biology and I could use pink highlighters and pink pens and things like that for my biology work so I know exactly where it goes and it all fits nicely. I, I love being organised. Um, so yeah, I've got 
there's two sets of 10 in there so that was quite a good buy um i don't know if you ever used to have these at school when you went to school but i got myself one of these pink it's a pink glittery ruler but it's one of the ones that folds so it'll fit in a pencil case um i've had them before and they're a bit hit and miss sometimes they break fairly easily but i thought you know i need a ruler it's pink it's sparkly what more could you want and it folds up to go in your pencil case you know it was maybe a couple of quid if it breaks it breaks um, a few more boring bits like pencils and rubbers and sharpeners, um, glue, always need glue, and I got some cute little post-it notes sort of for marking pages and things like that. I just, I love colourful stationery and make, you know, doing college work isn't always exciting and sometimes it gets quite difficult and boring sometimes I like being able to make my work and my notes look colourful and nice and fun I just find it helps keep me interested um, in what I'm doing sometimes when it's getting a bit harder and like you know just I like making things look nice um, so I've got those and I've got some other various post-it notes and stuff that I'm going to dig out um, just to make it look more interesting and now on to the more fun stuff. I've picked up some, I don't even know how you say this, Stedler coloured pens. Again, I like using different coloured pens to write in, um, to separate different topics, writing like headers so they stand out and things like that. Um, and I thought this was quite a good brand. They seem to last quite well. Um, so yeah, I'll be colour coding lots of different things in these lovely little pens. Um, I also picked up a cute little pencil case. This was from Paper Chase. They had quite a collection. The only problem I found was a lot of their pencil cases are very small. Um, and they, I mean, they were really cute, some of them, but I, I need something that I can fit like a decent amount of stuff in. You know, I, I need a pencil case that's gonna fit in pens and pencils and ruler and rubber and whatever else I need like you know they had a gorgeous little pencil case which was like a little hedgehog which I really wanted but it was going to fit maybe two pens in it and I just kind of don't see the point in that it's going to take up room in my bag it's not going to really particularly be any use so I had to leave him there and pick up a little more sensible pencil case um but this one's great it's got like the uh I don't know what you call this wavy edging um in pink and it's covered in like pretty flowers and then inside you've got two pockets either side and then you've got another zip pocket in the middle for more bits and bobs so i'm going to fit everything i could possibly need in this but it's not too chunky either which is nice you know i want i don't want something that's going to take over my whole bag so yeah this is this is hopefully going to do what it needs to do and it looks pretty and then I picked up this lovely, um, what was it, like a school year planner because um, I don't really know, I haven't been to college in quite a while so I don't know sort of if they're going to set homework or obviously I'm going to need to write like deadlines and stuff in um, for maybe like essays and things like that um, and I don't really know if they provide anything for me to do that with um, so I thought I'd pick up this was from Paper Chase as well. I think it was about eight pounds. Um, they have so much lovely choice. This was I, this was the only one in the shop I could find actually that looked look like this. It's lovely. It's got little cupcakes on it and a teapot. And I just thought it's so me. Um, and I'll just kind of show you a few things that are inside it. You've got the front pages where you just put your personal data um, in case it gets lost or something, I guess. Um, and then I like this page. You've got. Um, it separates it into four terms, so I think you only have three terms, but hey, never mind. Um, and you can then write in your timetable for each term, which will prove really useful, like just having it there, um, sort of on hand where everything else is. I don't have to keep sort of looking up and having bits of paper flying around. I hate, I hate bits of paper. I like everything to be organised and in one place. So yeah, that's that. Um, and then there's this page as well, which has got 
you put sort of the subject date um, for any deadlines or exams you've got coming up. Um, so yeah, that'll be fairly useful. I'm really kind of hoping they won't do exams. <laughs> I hate exams, but if we do, then I've got somewhere to write them down. Um, just sort of year planner. And then you open it up and you've got a week on two pages. Plenty of space to write in for each day, what homework you've got, any like reminders you need to put in there. You know, that's all there. And you've also got the whole month with dates along the bottom so you can kind of keep track of where you are in the month um, and it starts in July and goes right through to what does it go through to let's have a look August 2015 so that's seeing me right through college um, and then in the back you've just got another year planner for 2015 um, and then like you know when you get those diaries like world times and conversions um stuff that i very rarely use but you know if you want to know how many inches are in a, how many millimeters are in an inch or whatever it tells you how to do that so you never know when you might need something like that um and you've also got a little bit in the back just for um Name and addresses there, obviously, are not going to fit a lot in there, but maybe if you've got a couple of important ones that you need to keep in there of, I don't know, tutors or email addresses and things like that. Um, and then you've got an, uh, another page for any, like, websites that you need, which is quite good because sometimes, obviously, you might find, like, specific websites that you need to go on to for your course. Um, and it's good to have them written down just in case you forget what they're, you know, what the address is. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. It's got this nice little elasticated band to keep it all together. Um, and I think I'm going to be using that a lot. And then last but not least, I brought another notepad. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. Um, it's not, it's A5, so it's not going to fit in a folder. Um, sorry, that's my phone. Um, but again, it's got this elasticated pad, it's all ruled, so I don't know, perhaps just sort of writing little notes that I don't... I wish my phone was not going off. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, maybe like making rough notes about things that I don't need to put in a folder. Um, but I just thought this was so cute, this is my journal. Um, and it's covered in little birds um, and again that's from Paper Chase I think it was about five or six pounds um, it's really thick so it's going to last a while um, believe it or not this post is not sponsored by Paper Chase I just love Paper Chase so yeah um, that's pretty much all I've bought for college um, I've kind of I have been buying a few new clothes with the idea that yes I will wear them for college but in reality I just like them and I bought them. Um, this jumper is one of them, this came from Topshop. Um, I love the, it's, I love the colour, it's like a sort of mint greeny kind of colour. I haven't got much in this colour so I thought I, when I saw it I had to get it. Um, and it's got this lovely collar um, in sort of jewels and stuff. The only problem is that a few of them have already fallen off which is slightly annoying um, and I have no idea how I'm going to wash it. So, yeah, but it looks pretty. It was in the sale, I think, as well, so even better. Um, I'll try and put a link to it below if it's still available. Um, but if not, I'm sure they'll do something similar um, in the autumn. Um, but I just thought this would be nice to wear for college because it's, it's fairly baggy, um, but it looks quite nice and pretty and smart because I'm not quite sure of the dress code for college. But... God's sake, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure of the dress code for college. Um, some colleges say you have to be smart and you can't wear certain things. I don't think there is a particular dress code for this college, but I still like to make myself look nice, um, you know, when I'm going out. So there we go. Um, yeah, so that brings me to the end of this video. Um, I will probably write a bit about what I get up to in college and perhaps do 
I don't know, some videos on how I organise my notes when I've done a bit more. Um, let me know what you want to see. Um, you know, write in the comments below if there's any particular videos you'd like to see me do. Um, I'm happy to hear suggestions because inspiration is always great. Um, so yeah, um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you're hearing from me and want to hear more. So take care and I will see you again soon. Bye!